today, I'll be making possibly one of the scariest solutions in all of chemistry. That's right, it's peroxamonosulfuric acid, otherwise known as the piranha solution. It is an extremely strong oxidizer and is thus often used for cleaning glassware in laboratories. It is also probably what we all imagine acids to look like as kids. This solution is extremely dangerous and requires appropriate PPE. Now, the solution is in fact quite easy to make, and it only requires two substances, concentrated hydrogen peroxide and 98% sulfuric acid. Depending on the purposes, the ratios can be altered, going from 1 to 7 to 1 to 3 hydrogen peroxide to sulfuric acid. A ratio larger than 1 to 2 is not recommended, as it can be extremely dangerous and potentially explosive. Now I carefully poured in some 50% hydrogen peroxide into a graduated cylinder and diluted it to 30%. It is important to never use hydrogen peroxide that is too concentrated, as the reaction when we mix it with sulfuric acid is extremely exothermic. Now I set that to the side and I can now pour in about 30 ml of sulfuric acid with stirring on. It is important that I add the hydrogen peroxide extremely slowly to the sulfuric acid and to never do it the other way around. The piranha solution requires significantly more caution as it is particularly good at dissolving skin and even cotton, meaning regular clothes are not safe for these purposes. Even just a small splash or drop on my skin would be catastrophic. Now, I can start throwing some organic stuff into it. This is the fun part, so I tried some paper first. Immediately, it gets obliterated and vaporized into CO2 gas. Now what's happening here is that there are a bunch of extremely reactive oxy radicals that rip off hydrogen atoms from any organic substances containing a CH bond. The alkyl radical then gets oxidized into CO2 gas. Given enough time, the solution would clear up completely as if nothing had happened. It's also extremely hot and bubbles a ton. Now I threw in some cotton as well to show how dangerous it is to get this on your clothes. Occasionally, adding small amounts of hydrogen peroxide could help speed up the reaction and clear up the solution. I also vaporized some tissue paper, which was quite scary. And even some bread. Oh. It can even destroy wooden sticks. It had a big appetite and even gobbled up some ground beef. Corn flakes somehow react very vigorously with the solution too. Now here I think I added a bit too much peroxide to the point where it almost overflowed. The only thing that didn't get dissolved, strangely, was styrofoam. Maybe because it's a polymer polystyrene and that the bonds holding it together were quite strong. Or maybe it's because I just didn't leave it there for enough time. I'm wondering if anyone has an explanation for this, as I thought paper was a polymer as well, also known as cellulose. Anyways, that's about it, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.